Hello, and thank you for continuing to watch our Catapult CMS Getting Started tutorial series. In this tutorial, we'll go over how to edit a page using the edit panel, including how to edit, reorganize, hide, and delete content on a page. The edit panel has all of the building blocks of how to create a beautiful, content-rich website. Let's get started. Go to your Catapult dashboard and click on Manage Websites or the Website tab and hit the Edit button on the website that you want to edit. Once you're inside the Catapult editor, you'll land on the home page. On the left-hand side of the screen, there are two panels, the Pages panel, which manages the page structure or navigation, and the Edit panel, which allows you to add content to a page. When you open any page in the CMS, it will automatically open the edit panel. Don't worry, you can always go back to reordering and creating pages by clicking on the pages panel. But for this video, we are going to live in the edit panel. Pages in Catapult have content regions, which are designated by red dotted lines on the page. Content regions allow you to organize content on the page in different ways. A standard page looks something like this. It has a sidebar with a content region below the subpages. Additionally, the main body of the page has a main region, then a two column region, and finally another main region. If you wish to change the structure of a subpage, you can use the page properties to change the layout. For a more in depth discussion on page properties, please take a look at our page properties video. Now, let's add some content to this page. To add content, just hold down any of the content elements on the left here and drag into any of the red dotted areas on the page like so. Content regions are infinite, so you can drag as much information as you want into any particular region. Okay, let's practice a bit. Here, I'm going to add another text box and a gallery and maybe a slideshow and how about a doc list just for fun. Once it's on the page, you can edit it. To edit anything in Catapult, just click on the center of it to open with a single click or use the pencil icon in the top right. Make whatever changes you want. For instance, here I'm gonna change my text and hit save. Once content is on the page, you can move it by dragging the gray bar into any other content region on the page. Make sure that it is in one of the red dotted regions, otherwise it'll just go back to its original location. Let's try editing the gallery. So if I open this up and add some photos from the file repository, you can see they pop right in here. Once they're in the gallery, I can edit using the pencil icon. There is a great photo editor, so you can adjust your photos as needed. It allows you to crop, change the, change the lighting and color balance, and a personal favorite, it allows you to blur the photos uh, backgrounds to look like you have some serious photography skills. You can reorder your photos using the gray bar, delete, add captions and links, etc. I always suggest looking at all the options of each element, how many columns you want your photos to appear in. Once I've added content, I may decide I want to move it to a different area on the page. You can move it by using the gray bar. Just hold it down and drag it to another content region. You can see that my image is automatically adjusted to the size of the region. There are several interesting content elements you may want to play with. Each of the elements has descriptions in our knowledge base, but here are a few I like to highlight. The text editor is everyone's main go-to element, but you can also use the tabbed content to add text in a slightly different format. Tabbed content allows you to add a text editor in separate tabs and add some names to the tabs. Then, add some information inside. You can even add photos. This is a great way to display a ton of information without cluttering the page. There are actually two useful views in this element. Instead of a tabbed view, I can alternately use the accordion toggle to get an accordion look. Now, if I preview my page, I can see more thoroughly how it is going to look. One last element that I'd like to show is the doc list. The document list dynamically pulls documents from a folder. It can be really useful. So if you need to add board meeting documents or other items on a page that are consistently changing, all you need to do is link a folder once and anything that goes in that folder will dynamically update. This is especially useful if you link it to Google Drive 
as you don't even need to get into the software in order to update it. Anything that is added into that folder will automatically publish on the website. Here is one last thing about content elements in Catapult that you should know. Each element has the following functionality. In the top right corner, each element has controls to delete, lock, which is only visible and accessible to developers, copy, and hide. If you find yourself not being able to edit an element, it might be locked. Copying is especially useful as you can copy an element to move it to another area of the page or move it to another page entirely. You can even move it to another website if you have access to multiple websites. Notice, once it's copied, it is accessible here in the content clipboard and can be dragged and placed anywhere on the page. Finally, you can hide any element here with the little eyeball. Click on it and you'll see visible, hidden, or a visibility timer, which allows you to pick the start and the end date of when the content element is visible. If it's hidden, it will show up with a little eyeball with a line through it. To recap what we've covered, content elements can be dragged into content regions, which are identified by red dotted lines. Content can be dragged on the page by the gray bar and edited by clicking on the element to open it. Finally, before you leave any page, Catapult will prompt you to save. You can alternately hit the save button up here in the top left of the edit panel. Know that there's also a history button that rolls back pages on a per page basis. It will allow you three saves and a publish. Finally, you can hit close, which closes a page without saving it. You will need to publish the page before you see any of your changes. The publish button is up in the top right of the page. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next tutorial video.